Hello, what's up, peeps? This is the Geek Artist back again with another video, and today I've got some mind blowing news that'll totally rock your world. Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown, and I'm really excited to introduce you to a great, powerful, generative AI technology called Adobe Firefly that is now natively integrated into Photoshop. This is fantastic. It's non destructive, it's magical. You can enter in simple text prompts, and you can take an existing photograph that's yours and make it something really extra special. Photoshop just dropped their latest and greatest version, and let me tell you, it's packed with some seriously mind blowing AI powered features that will take your photo editing game to a whole new level. Check this out. This time, I'm not going to enter anything in. I'm going to leave it blank and let the AI technology determine what is outside the boundary region. And there it is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, the sun has appeared. It has calculated the position of the sun. Unbelievable. Classic car from the 50s. And select generate. It will now give us examples of generated cars. Let's take a look at the variations it's given us. And we're going to notice right off that it's added a shadow and it's placed the car right on the plane here. And let's type in reflection pool filled with blue water. That sounds great. Nice and simple, straightforward expressions. And then let's generate pool. Wow. <laughs> look at that. I think it's this first pool. I want to point out something that's incredible here. Look how it's taken the salt flat texture and detail and created a pond within the same texture and detail as the surrounding salt flats. It even has created a shadow here on the edge and it's given this, this reflection where I can see underneath the car because of the angle in the water would allow us to see under the car in this position. Welcome to my channel where we explore all things creative and cutting edge and boy oh boy do I have a treat for y'all today. This is not your average software update. No, my friends, this is the latest Photoshop beta version available on Adobe CC and it's loaded with AI magic that will blow your socks off. So what's the big deal, you ask? Well, get ready to have your mind blown because I'm about to take you on a tour of some of the most jaw-dropping features you'll find in this new Photoshop update. And this changes everything. Image editing, photo manipulation, image composites, and matte painting will never be the same. Just a couple of days back, Adobe added a new tool to its Photoshop beta called Generative Fill. That's right, Generative Fill, which uses cloud-based image synthesis to fill selected areas of an image with new AI-generated content based on text description or prompts. Powered by Adobe Firefly, Generative Fill works similarly to a technique called InPainting, used by DALI and Stable Diffusion released last year. At the core of Generative Fill is Adobe Firefly, which is Adobe's custom image synthesis model. As a deep learning AI model, Firefly has been trained on millions of images in Adobe stock library to associate certain imagery with text descriptions of them. Now part of Photoshop, people can type in what they want to see. For example, old classic 1950s car on a desert landscape and the new Photoshop Vita with a natively integrated Firefly will synthesize several options for the user to choose from. Generative Fill uses a well-known AI technique called inpainting to create a context-aware generation and that seamlessly blends synthesized images into an existing image. To use Generative Fill, users select an area of an existing image they want to modify. After selecting it, a contextual taskbar pops up that allows users to type in a description of what they want to see generated in the selected area. Photoshop sends this data to Adobe servers for processing, then returns results in the app. After generating, the user has the option to select between several options of generations or to create more options to browse through. And that's not all. Generative Fill isn't the only AI-powered feature added to Photoshop Beta. Firefly has also enabled Photoshop to remove parts of an image entirely, erase objects from a scene, or extend the dimensions of an image by generating new content that surrounds the existing image, an AI-powered technique known as outpainting. Check this out. Make a selection around the top part and use the prompt overcast sky with clouds and distant mountains and the results are mind-blowing. Look at all the variations. They look very realistic. Now some in-painting to add some elements in the background. Make a selection and use the prompt old broken down red barn and Photoshop will create three amazing variations that will match the perspective lighting and everything else in the scene to make this into a realistic composite for this image. 
These features have been available on Lexica, Leonardo.ai and OpenAI's DALI 2 image generator and editor since August of last year and in various releases of Stable Diffusion since around the same time. So Adobe is just now catching up to adding them to its flagship image editor. These in-painting and out-painting image extension features are similar to Photoshop's content-aware fill, except these are way more accurate and insanely realistic. Alright my creative comrades, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Photoshop Beta is bursting at the seams with AI powered features designed to supercharge your photo editing skills. Trust me when I say this, this update is a game changer. So what are you waiting for? Dive into the beta version of Photoshop today, unleash your creativity and let the power of AI take your photo editing to new heights. Generative Fill in Photoshop Beta app is currently available to all Creative Cloud members with Photoshop subscription or trial through the Beta app section of the Creative Cloud app. It is not yet available for commercial use, not accessible to individuals under 18, not available in China and currently supports English only text prompts. Alright, so that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.